Food Friday, bitches. <laughs> Pepperoni, Kobe Jack. If you get a chance to get that thick cut, buy that. And Hormel Pepperoni. Uh, unless you want to spend like, uh, I don't know, 11 bucks a pound, the uh, Hormel Pepperoni is fantabulous. This is the inside out, upside down, anti-pizza quesadilla. So, start by making a little ring of pepperonis that are going to start sizzling almost immediately. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. I'd call it Flavor Town, but I think that the other guy from Humboldt County who made it onto television would probably sue me. Alright, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let the wife snack on that little bit of cheese. Thick cut. Okay. You've never seen this cheese? Look at that. Thick cut like you shredded it yourself. Now, you want to cover the cheese, right? or excuse me, you want to cover the pepperoni, but then you want to go a little bit around the edge of the pepperoni, and I'm going to switch to my Colby and Monterey Jack for this. You want good coverage, but you also want it to be just a little bit bigger than the tortilla that you're going to use. Oh, and yes, more heart attack. Heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. So you've got a, a decent little circumference there. And then, this is what was on sale this week. These were 99 cents. The big ones were 329. So I bought the ones that were on sale. I tend to stick to this brand. Um, I don't like the Mission tortillas. They're too thick. So, this is over here doing what it's doing. Throw that tortilla right, tortilla right over the top of it. See how you got a little bit of it around the edge? Oh, and all that grease? Yeah, you're going to flip that over and then fry the back side of the tortilla in that, which is why we have cutting board with paper towel. Where I come from, this is called a spatula. In culinary school, this is called a spatula. Uh, this was a stir thingamajig that you made cake with and, uh, and, and you licked the frosting or the cake batter off of and this was a spatula. Uh, at any rate, it's a uh, NSF stamped Hell's Handle. If you don't have one of these, go to your local restaurant supply, ask them for a Hell's Handle, that'll be the last spatula that you ever buy. <clears throat> Alright, start to get the little crunchy bits around the edge. Now this one's actually sticking a little bit. You notice my flat top has no handle. My kitchen cabinet situation sucks. And it kind of got stuck one day. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why this one's sticking. But It'll still be tasty. Gotta give it a minute to. There we go. There's snacks. Snacks along the way. You don't want to put the spatula under it too soon. You just want to make sure the, the sides are still boiling. Alright. Here comes the fun part. Break it loose. And wow. Alright, now it's at this point in this fried cheese and pepperoni and tortilla goodness when you flip it over that you could add whatever it is you wanted to add. You could you could add tofu if that was your thing, but chances are if you eat tofu, you don't eat pepperoni or cheese. You could add some chicken, you could add some tomatoes, you could put some Parmesan cheese on the top of it, some red pepper flakes. I mean, 
a blank canvas. This is just the basic area where you start. I find it to be good enough just like this. But you could add, you could add anything to it. Anything pizza related, anything quesadilla related, anything, hell, pepperoni and cheese. I mean, what couldn't you put on that? I mean, you could put lettuce and tomatoes on there and try to justify it as a, a healthy snack because it's just protein. It's just protein with a tortilla, right? I mean, I don't know. And then, and then you gotta see. See how the bottom is getting that? Oh, that! Like, I, I will. That is full on crunchy goodness, and that's all burnt cheese. And this is why I picked towel. Because that is some greasy. Set in my best bubbles voice voice. Greasy. May not be even. Who cares? That's tasty. 